Hi guys, how are you? So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Mini Breakers palette. I was saving this one for a whole separate review just in case some of you guys just wanted to get the little ones. So I'm going to open it up and see what colors are in here. I haven't seen these colors um, since I think I watched like the review or the release of these. So this is what it looks like. I'm happy this one is the white. Um, I think it's just so cute. I wish he would have came out with like a green one too, but the white is super duper cute. So these are all the colors in here. I think I'm gonna do a purple look. You guys were asking for the makeup I used in my wedding vlog. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But I think I'm gonna be doing a purple look today with these colors, so let's just dive in. I really hope they're equally as pigmented as my um, what's the other one called i really hope they're equally as pigmented as my big jawbreaker palette so um first i think i'm gonna go in with should i do a purple look hmm and if i'm sweating it's because i can't have my air on right now so yeah so first i think i'm gonna go in with double scoop maybe let's see how this looks or this one Okay, so first I'm going in with bubble gum. Hang on, I'm gonna have to turn on the air, like I'm sweating. I'm literally fanning myself because it is so hot. I live in Arizona, I just turned on the air, so if there's a weird noise behind you, I'm sorry. But I need my eyes to be dry for this video. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with bubble gum. And we're just gonna apply this. This is such a pretty pink, it's like a baby pink. Okay, so that, since this is like super duper pink, um, I think I'm gonna add a bit of this orange color, this double scoop, just very lightly, and we're just gonna kinda warm this up. Just so it's not so like Barbie pink. And it's kind of more like a. I don't know what color pink this would be. These colors are blending very well together, especially because I'm like kind of sweaty. But I think they're doing pretty well. Here, I'll scoot you guys in. This palette is like the perfect size to like throw in your bag and use if you're out or if you're traveling. Like I really like the size of this. Okay, so now that we have this pink a bit warmer, I'm going to go in with Foreplay and we're gonna put this um, kind of on the lid. Ooh, that's like super purple. Look at that pigment. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a little too pink. I'm pretty sure this color was in the other one. Okay, so now that we have this fun color up here, I'm going to take my 217 and we're gonna dip into this really rich purple color and I'm gonna put this all in the crease. So this one's called Purple Punch. These purples are showing up so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to keep building this up until it looks like I have a black eye. Just kidding. So I think I'm going to try to go into hot fudge a little bit, just kind of uh, deepen it up. We're going to see how deep this color is, and I'm just going to take that on the same exact brush. I just kind of want to some dimension. I'm really impressed because none of these colors are falling out. And I know vegan purples are like the hardest to make, but there's like no fallout. And I already did my foundation, so that's really, really good. Yeah. 
Now we can go back into this brush and just kind of blend these two. Like that. So now I'm dying to go into this color. I already swatched them. I think I might use this one on the lid. Um, but I'm definitely going to put this in the crease. Just as some sparkle. And I'm taking that on the 217. And we're just going to add that. Oh shoot, that one has fallout. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this and we're just gonna pack it on so I don't get that much fallout. Wow, that's so pretty. So yeah, with this shade, definitely just pack it on because when I tried to go in with a fluffy brush, it was not having it. And you can kind of get that V too. I'm gonna cut my crease, so I'm just kind of trying to bring this color in. So now I'm gonna go in with this 217 and just kind of blend. I'm gonna take that color on my finger and I'm just gonna put it over here because I'm kind of getting some patchiness, but nothing too crazy that I can't fix. I think this color applies best with the finger. So if you wanna do that and then just blend it out, it might be a little better. Okay, so I'm going to clean up under my eyes. I'm going to cut this crease, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I just cut my crease, so now we're going to go in with this color. It's called Oral, and I'm just taking this on a little precise brush, and we're just going to apply this. That color is so pretty. It's like a lavender with like blue um, reflex. It is gorgeous. Wow. You could just leave the eye like this. I think that looks really pretty too, but for the sake of this video, oh no, this eye's starting to crease. If your concealer starts to crease, just take the brush and kind of mix it out and then go back in. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with this color and we're just going to pop this and kind of blend them together a little bit, just using a tapping motion. And then we're going to go back in with our 217 and blend out any harsh edges. This purple color, you guys, is so pretty. Okay, so don't hate me, but I really wanted to add a little bit of glitter on the inner corner just because I like to keep my eyes very bright. Like, this is pretty dark for me. So I'm just going to take this glitter. This is called glitter by nyx um what's the name of it oh it's just mgli05 it's just this like white glitter and i just want to apply this on top so first i'm just going to take my glitter glue and i'm just going to apply this a little bit on the inner corner and then we're going to apply this on top like literally just the tiniest bit And then a little bit in here. And then we're gonna go in with the same brush. And just lightly put that over it. Like that. <laughs> it's like not trying. Like that. 
Okay, this lighting's a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so that literally just made this look so much prettier. Not that those colors weren't already pretty, but now it's like bam. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner and apply some lashes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like with lashes on. I still have to finish up underneath, but so far I think it's looking amazing. It's so pretty. I'm in love with this palette so far. You can create a lot of different looks too, which is good. I'm like losing all my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Oral underneath my eye. Cause I just love this color. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna go in with this deep purple color, the matte one, and put that right on top. This eyelash is giving me issues. Oh, what was on my lip? How long is it in there? Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara to the bottom. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I am in love with this palette. It looks so awesome. I created a really nice purple look. I love all of these colors. I have yet to try these ones, but you could literally create an entire warm look with this palette. You could create an entire purple look with this palette as I did. I'm probably gonna change my shirt to like a black top. This one on the go is just amazing. I'm really happy I got both bundles. I think they both have a lot of great colors in them and the pigmentation in this one is just as good as the first one. So I'm super duper pleased. But of course, if you wanna save your money, go ahead and just get the mini one. Try it out, especially if you haven't tried any Jeffree Star eyeshadows. I would would definitely say that the mini breaker and the jawbreaker palettes are probably one of his best formula wise as well as the thirsty palette you guys know I love that one but I'm super duper pleased it's been a very long time since I've been this happy about two different palettes from him so I'm so excited and I just think this is the perfect summer makeup this is it up close sorry if my eyelashes are falling off I will be doing my lipstick review next, so stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.